Richard Edward Taylor, the 2nd of November 1929 to the 22nd of February 2018, was a Canadian physicist and Stanford University professor. He shared the 1990 Nobel Prize in Physics with Jerome Friedman and Henry Kendall for their pioneering investigations concerning deep inelastic scattering of electrons on protons and bound neutrons, which have been of essential importance for the development of the quark model in particle physics. Early life Taylor was born in Medicine Hat, Alberta. He studied for his B.S.C. and M.S.C. degrees at the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Canada. Newly married, he applied to work for a Ph.D. degree at Stanford University, where he joined the High Energy Physics Laboratory. His Ph.D. thesis was on an experiment using polarized gamma rays to study pion production. Topic. Research and career After three years at the École Normale Supérieure in Paris and a year at the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory in California, Taylor returned to Stanford. Construction of the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center now the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory was beginning. In collaboration with researchers from the California Institute of Technology and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Taylor worked on the design and construction of the equipment, and was involved in many of the experiments. In 1971, Taylor was awarded a Guggenheim Fellowship that allowed him to spend a sabbatical year at CERN. The experiments run at SLAC in the late 1960s and early 1970s involved scattering high energy beams of electrons from protons and deuterons and heavier nuclei. At lower energies, it had already been found that the electrons would only be scattered through low angles, consistent with the idea that the nucleons had no internal structure. However, the SLAC MIT experiments showed that higher energy electrons could be scattered through much higher angles, with the loss of some energy. These deep inelastic scattering results provided the first experimental evidence that the protons and neutrons were made up of point like particles, later identified to be the up and down quarks that had previously been proposed on theoretical grounds. The experiments also provided the first evidence for the existence of gluons. Taylor, Friedman, and Kendall were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in 1990 for this work. Death Taylor died at his home in Stanford, California near the campus of Stanford University on the 22nd of February 2018 at the age of 88. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and Honors. Taylor has received numerous awards and honors including Topic: <laughs> References. <laughs>